an infectious disease plaguing humanity. War can even make you blind. And I must be blind, cause I surely ain't see that ass whooping coming. God, our favorite heroes have had a little bit of time since the last time I checked on them to get ingratiated into their new world of terror. By now I'm sure they're racking up all the killstreak awards and gaining every medal that they possibly could. In fact, rumor has it the tactical band-aids man is even prestiged. But if there's one thing I've learned on this earth is that it's very difficult to get good information through the fog of war, and I needn't necessarily keep my pulse on the finger of the battle to know what happens. In fact, I figured it'd be best to let a bit of time pass. And so, before I checked back up on our hero squadron, I wanted to see what the bully boys over at Fortunes were doing. Spoiler alert, it's just mommy posting. <laughs> Because this entire time, while Reddit has been seething, belly irking, and butt hurting, it turns out that the internet hate machine has been having the most fun yet again in the comfy happenings in Ukraine general thread. Who has time to worry about air strikes and political blah 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 bullshit? What the fuck? And we could post anime girl. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I figured it would be scientifically relevant in order to see what the other side is doing and how they're coping with world events. And I was told that this is where the big boys talk about politics and apparently big black cocks. And I was surprised to find that this place is actually the bastion of pure male camaraderie. <laughs> Likes of which I haven't been seen since 1940s Russia. I mean, look at this, boom. Exclusive secret diagram for Zelensky's super secret underground toilet bunker. What we can only describe as high level intel. Behind the scenes photos from Natalia's office reenactment. Why, why is this, why is this so prevalent in the front? Oh, 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 oh. Utopia. Hey look, a post about our Redditors. Alright, let's see. Post location on Facebook makes sense. Posted on Reddit for updates? Oh, of course. Russian scrolling Reddit get confirmation that... Oh. Russians shell every... Oh. Oh. Well, at least we, uh... We know it can't get worse. You know, this is bullshit. This is depressing. I need a wholesome 100. Like a, I don't know, a cute violin video or something. Yeah, that's... in Miami, bruh. All that Reddit gold, wasted. It wasn't even fair. The match hadn't even started. They weren't even on the battle bus yet. I'll get you, Potan. Yes, it turns out that Reddit is now responsible for the most embarrassing, shocking moment in the history of modern warfare since. Go, go, go. We've got it, sir. Good, that's one less loose end. it's time to make fun of them. It looks 
looks like Russia saw our Reddit soldiers as such a threat that they decided to completely flatten the entire fucking city of Mariupol. We did it, Reddit. This is the geopolitical equivalent of walking an old lady across the street only to then fling her in front of a bus with you also getting hit by the bus. The honk levels have been off the charts this entire year, but this one really set it over the line in my opinion. Leave university, go to clown college. How must it feel to know that banning fast food and porno has been much more effective in defeating the Russian menace than you literally throwing your life away? Some of you guys are younger. Some of you think that when people get owned in this global manner that they would take stock of the situation and change their ways, maybe even behave differently. This will not happen. In fact, I hear they're going to give Zelensky an Oscar for the pure amount of Redditors he is single-handedly responsible for slapping down to hell. Things are technically fine. I think they're still technically winning. Ukraine, not Reddit. And I will be the first to tell you that if Ukraine is ultimately successful in its quest to exist, Reddit will be the first group of people on the internet to take credit. Right after, you know, the Facebook and Domino's pizza, I guess. And don't moral fag me in the comments. Mercilessly mocking these people is just about the only thing I can do personally to keep them from getting on a plane to Poland, if you know what I mean. As a fellow Giga Chad, I'm sure you are unfamiliar, just as I am, about the, the true level of struggle that some of these people go through on a day-to-day -day basis to exist in this world. It's complicated. It's tired. Imagine for a second if you, like them, were acrylic, so to speak, living in a world full of Gokus, frightened, confused, but still hopeful and desiring of change. I, for one, can at least acknowledge that as somewhat positive. You don't have to. In fact, I'm not even encouraging you to. I'd like to see your perspective. I find, in fact, that most people who are inherently more cruel than me are also inherently more funny. For example, now that we live in a world with Patrice O'Neill and Norm Macdonald no longer living on it, I find that I don't know who the funniest person in the world is anymore. However, if I had to vote today, I'd probably pick Tim Dillon. Do you want to know why? Because in one episode of his podcast, he happens to mention Pete Davidson offhand and then, for the rest of the podcast, at every given opportunity, brings up the fact that Pete Davidson's parents died in 9-11 and how... And how, <laughs> how, great would that, how great would it be to lose a parent in 9-11? Let's stop pretending that wouldn't have been the greatest moment of your fucking life. Hey, how's Pete Davidson doing? Pretty fucking good. He's not sitting here trying to keep a bulldog off his set. I'd tuck, I'd strap both of my parents into the seats of United 93 if I could have a tenth of his career. So let's cut the shit. Candlelight vigils? Where'd mommy go? I don't know. Bin Laden took her. Where's my movie? I'm sitting here for years, week after week. Brilliance. Brilliance. But I, because I don't have a parent that b b died, I'll melt my parents right fuck now. Judd Apatow, email me. I guess technically the moral of the story is. I mean, I know you're a sophisticated guy. The world is a mess. The world is as angry as it gets. Well, you think this is going to cause a little more anger? The world is an angry place. So yeah, the world is an angry place and stop giving so much of a fuck. We're out here having fun. So if you ever find yourself completely butt mad over world politics that you have absolutely zero control in, remember how insignificant you are in the general scheme of the grand universe and then you'll probably feel better. And if that doesn't work, I highly suggest you find something to giggle at. In the meantime, I'm going to spend the next 17 to 23 hours watching anime in order to finish three videos that are going to be long, bloated, and completely unasked for for my audience I've built up to this point. I'll see you then. Like, subscribe, bye.